Today's crash is the worst on New Zealand roads since a minivan carrying tourists slammed into a timber truck near Morrinsville in 2005, 13 years ago. Nine people died in that collision. South Taranaki Mayor Ross Dunlop says today's six-person fatality is deeply upsetting. Bloody awful. You know, we started the day, beautiful sunny day, things were going along really well, and then got the call about this terrible accident. I mean, six good people in our community. It's just unbelievable. And obviously our heart goes out to to the families and, and, and everyone involved. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Mayor Dunlop, you say in our community, do you have any sense that they are in fact locals? We, we're we still trying to, to, I mean, obviously there's a lot of work going on. We're, yeah. um, we've been contacting emergency services, but to get the details, no, we haven't got any detail around you know, who, who has been in this tragedy. So it's it's that's the worry as well, you know, just who it is, because there's obviously some families out there that are that are needing support. Yeah, by wherever God, they, yes. wherever that wherever they've come from. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the stretch of road? You would, wouldn't you? You drive along. Yeah, the I know, know it really well. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. Uh, I mean, I was down through there yesterday, uh, and yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's actually a relatively good road um, from from Hawara to Wanganui. There's been a lot of work done on the roads in that area. And so it's not an area that would have sort of stood out as a as a as a hot spot. Although I do, there is a bit of a bend, you know, quite a sharp bend that um, you would, you do have to be a little bit cautious about. But you know, who knows? Who knows why? Very clear, very cold, very blue morning. It, yep. Did you notice ice on the road when you were out and about this I, morning? I, I was out shifting some stock, and my hands were totally frozen. <laughs> I was wishing I'd taken some gloves with me. So yeah, it's. Um, it was it was a very clear, cold morning, but a beautiful morning, and not a morning you would think there'd be such a significant tragedy in, in our community. It, things were looking pretty good at the start of the day, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah uh, obviously mm. terrible and heartbreaking beyond description for the families, mm. but yep. also a yep. lot of the first responders, the St John's people yep. and the volunteer fire brigade, uh, yep. they would be locals and they're volunteers, and they will That's have it. seen something that will be hard for them to yeah. forget yeah so they also are going to need a lot of support yeah and you're right they're volunteers they do this because they care about the community and um it's you know we want to be supporting them as well so yeah there's a there's a, there's a lot of ramifications for a, a tragedy like this we had a similar situation a number of years ago um, on the on the normanby Strait, north of hawara and boy did that that went through our community um, it was unbelievable the amount of people that were in, uh, somehow affected by that tragedy so um, yeah this is going to require a lot of support.